vanish. Hey, what's happening to you guys? Extreme Fire Sonic here, and welcome back to another video. So, yes yesterday we got a brand new trailer showing us all the new transformation in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Two in particular stood out the most because those were the two we didn't actually see in the previous tra um, trailer. So, I'm going to be talking about those two today in this video. And on top of that, I want to actually bring up a discussion of the possibility of having customizable transformation for your custom character. Now, you'll see why in a minute. But um, let's talk about those two new transformations that we saw in this new trailer so the first one is the namekians now um we actually got confirmation before this that the namekians were not going to get any giant awakenings whatsoever because it's not possible to balance it out but that appears that they've pretty much light straight into our faces and they showed us um giant namekians so that's pretty cool too but for me as someone who plays this game at a more competitive level rather than a more you know, casual level, I'm thinking to myself how viable would this transformation actually be? Because as we know, the bigger you get in a transformation, the slower you become. So for me, I can already see the Namekians being extremely slow, but at the same time, I can see their move sets already. So they're going to be able to grab you like we like we seen in the trailer. They're going to be able to, you know, take I guess more damage and they're going to have some sort of super armor so they're not going to be as you know pushable as punchable as you know when they were in their previous normal states that's just my guess I mean, i'm just basing this off um the great apes that we saw in xenoverse 1 how you know they had some sort of super armor and you have to kind of break that down before you can actually damage them hopefully that's not the case because if they have super armor I mean, if they have super armor, that will give them a reason to actually transform into um, great Namekians, but I feel like they will have a small amount of super armor before we can actually damage them. And if they do have super armor, we should still be able to give them some sort of damage. I'm just going crazy here because I'm trying to figure out how viable, like, they have to give you a reason for you to transform into a, you know, great not great like a giant namekian but at the same time it has to have some sort of risk and the risk that i can only see for now anyways is that they're going to be extremely slow and they're going to be wide open to ultimates wide open to super attacks wide open to literally everything possible but you know i can't make judgment i can't i can only make assumption from what i've seen so far and so far i'm, I'm it's gonna be interesting I, I can't wait to actually go up against a um you know a giant that make can see what they are able to do so there's that now let's go on to the humans the humans baffled the fuck out of me like i was expecting something i don't know what it was but i was expecting something that wasn't what i saw in this trailer like we saw them you know pick up nimbus and a power pole first of all i didn't like the nimbus part confused the fuck out of me like why nimbus why nimbus I would have preferred if they gave us Nimbus as a transportation, like like the way they gave us the hoverboards, but I would actually prefer to have Nimbus instead of the hoverboards, but that's just a different case. They gave them Nimbus and they gave them Power Pole. Now, um, right off the bat, I'm not gonna lie, I went on Twitter and I kind of just made fun of the transformation. I just, I thought the transformation was a joke, to be honest, really. But when I looked at it again, I was like, okay, there might be some possibility that this transformation might actually be good. Like for instance, the humans, when they go to this particular transformation, they have a longer reach because of the power pole. The power pole will give them a slight reach. I'm not saying it's going to be a humongous, oh my god, these people cannot be touched reach. Like It's like, it's going to be a slight reach to give you an upper hand. Um, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to give you some sort of small power boost as well in terms of attacks and stuff like that, but that's just a case for them. Another thing that I have idea of that made no sense, but I have kind of like an idea of what they could go with it is that they could actually give the humans the option to choose what weapons that they actually want. So they could have um, Tapion sword, they could have the CMZ so um, sword, <laughs> they could have all these type of weapons except for guns. If they give them guns, that's just dumb. But anyways, um, the human transformation is going to be the most interesting. It's the int it is like it is pretty much the most interesting transformation so far because it just makes you think what exactly is it going to give them in terms of a boost because we know that for Saiyans 
when Saiyans transform, it gives them a power boost. Frieza race, when they transform into their golden um, transformation, aka the ultimate evolution, they get a super speed boost. Um, Margins, Margins, when they transform, they transform to a more tanky, I, I believe, a tanky uh, Kid Buu. Namekians transform into this powerhouse. Um, literally, everyone transforms into something cool except for the humans. Like, no matter what fantasy world you live in, the humans are always trash. So, when they get the power pole and the nameless, it's like, it's like the developer sat down and was like, we need to give these humans something to be viable. We need to give them something because the right now they are so irrelevant. It's not even funny, but um, yeah. So um, like I said before, I think in earlier before in this video, I said that there's a possibility that we might actually get customizable transformations. And that is the case maybe with the humans and for the um, freezer race. Now the reason why I'm saying this is that uh, first of all, let's talk about the Freezer Race Golden Transformation. Now, um, at first, I was one of the few people who said that if Freezer Race are going to get the Golden Transformation, which I'm going to be dubbing Ultimate Evolution, the Saiyans were supposed to also get uh, Super Saiyan Blue. But, I feel like that's actually a mistake on my part because, um, as we know, Freezer, the character, is a prodigy he is super powerful he was he was powerful when he, when he was literally born so he was one of the few exceptions that can make the golden transformation aka ultimate evolution seem like a god transformation but as we saw in dragon ball super frost another um akojian wasn't really that powerful like goku was able to pretty much take care of him in super saiyan transformation so he wasn't much of a threat so which means is that you know, just because a uh, Akoshian is able to achieve the Golden Transformation, aka um, Ultimate Evolution, doesn't mean that they actually become God level. So, given the fact that, um, you know, keep given, given those facts, I feel like maybe the Freezer race having this Ultimate Evolution transformation actually makes sense because it actually does go on par with someone who, with a regular set, who ends up achieving um, Super Saiyan 3. And now here's another thing that I wanted to go into now. As we know, um, when Frieza achieved the ultimate evolution, you know, the, his golden state, he did state that, and I, I, he did actually state this in the movie that he chose, he actually chose the color of his transformation so that he can go uh, match Goku's Super Saiyan transformation. So if that's the case, because we know that, you know, the Akoshin rays are kind of weird, they, they're able to change parts of their body, for certain um certain reasons like for example frost he's able to you know adjust his arm to to give him that poison dart that he had like that gave people disillusions and stuff like that but he's able to modify his body it, uh, his body is what i'm saying so if that's the case is it possible for the custom created freezer race to be able to change and customize their golden or well not gold see i can't call it golden because golden because you know that's what i'm going at like they can actually change their ultimate evolution to whatever color they want, like they go maybe crimson red, um, sapphire blue, whatever the case may be. So, if that's the case, that's actually pretty cool because that'll give the freezer race even more customizable because they were they were actually the most customizable race in the most one. So this is like taking it to the next level. So um yeah um the same thing with the boo um the you know the margin boo race. Like I feel like. They show those Kid Buu just as like a placeholder. They don't want to show us different variations of Kid Buu because I really don't want everyone, like every Margin character to transform into, you know, the same Kid Buu because it would be so lame as hell if that was the case. I feel like they should give the same way that I said that, um, I think the human, human's transformation was actually a big fucking sign telling us, hey, there's actually the possibility to customize your transformation because they're not gonna give every single human the power pole. I feel like the humans are a pinnacle example of customization, giving us different types of weapons to make them seem unique, but at the same time, giving those weapons, you know, meaning and whatever the case may be. So, and um, with the f no the, the freezer race, the Akojin race, they are known to modify their bodies to match their environments, match their situations. So I feel like. Um, you know, and with 
in the movie Resurrection of F, with Frieza stating to himself, no, not to himself, to Goku, he told Goku, I chose gold because it's a murmur, um, oh my god, he chose the golden transformation as a way to show that, you know, he thought of Super Saiyan when he went to this, you know, transformation, so... If that's the case, that's pretty cool, because we already seen that we can customize even our own key blast. Like, we can change our key blast to have this, um, you know, barrage of key blasts, or we can have the key blast that stays in the air and then kind of homes into the opponent. It's going to be awesome, like, this trailer showed a lot more that, that you may, that you might possibly, probably have missed, because I missed a couple of them, because I was so focused on the human race being so fucking lame, but, um, yeah, that's really where I was going with, um, let me know what you guys think, I, f I feel like, you know, if that's the case, that would be pretty damn awesome, and it would actually make sense, since, you know, we can't really use Frieza as a measurement for all of the transformation, because, you know, Frieza, Goku, and Vegeta, they're all prodigies, so, you know, it, it, it really just comes down to how you want to take it, like, um, obviously, as a Dragon Ball fan, I want to see my character go Dragon Ball, jeez, no, Super Saiyan um, God or Super Saiyan Blue, but, you know, if that's the case, you know, it takes away from the whole Super Saiyan Blue being this rare thing that only few people can achieve and whatever the case may be, I don't know. They might give it to us in the end because they told us that they wouldn't give us Super Saiyan Blue, but they're thinking about how they could balance it and, I don't know. Anyway guys, let me know what you guys think, I'm Shreem Panasonic, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Hey Sonic! Enjoy your future! It's gonna be great! Many months later.